Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video is going to be another Halloween makeup tutorial. So this look is kind of like a half sugar skull slash normal skull vibe going on. So if you want to see how I created it, then please just keep on watching. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. So I've already applied my foundation and concealer and whatnot, so I'm just going straight in with the eyes. I'm taking an orange eyeshadow and popping that straight into the crease and kind of quite up far into the beginning of the eyebrow and the sides of the nose, like dragging it down um, and also taking that shadow underneath the eye to really smoke it out. I'm then just picking up a brown eyeshadow with the same brush. I am going to list all the products down below that I'm using. So I'm literally just smoking this straight over the top of the orange shade we just applied. So again, right into the lower brow and the sides of the nose. Um, and really just blending it out so it's nice and smoky. And also taking that quite far underneath as well. Like making it all really nice and smoky and blended. I'm then just taking a black eyeshadow with a flat shader brush and really trying to pack on the colour so it's really nice and dark. I'm also focusing a lot more on the sides of my nose slash like lower brow kind of thing. Um, really just smoking it out for like the whole eye and blending it outwards. And then I'm just going to take a clean blending brush and then like blend it all together so it's nice and seamless and there's no harsh lines. And I'm also going to be taking that under my lower lash line, just like the other two colours, really smoking it out and bringing it down quite far. You don't have to be too neat with this, like the messier the better, so don't worry. So I'm just taking some more of that brown eyeshadow and applying that underneath the black so it's ultra smoky and it kind of helps out, helps blend out the black eyeshadow as well because black is really hard to blend out. Um, so it just makes it a little bit more easier and also makes it more smoky and blended. I'm also going to take that brown and the black eyeshadow mix and I'm just popping that just above the brow like where the brow starts but just above on the forehead just so it makes you look a bit more angry <laughs> i'm then going to be lining my inner waterline with some black gel eyeliner this is waterproof so it's literally not going to go anywhere i'm applying it to my inner waterline and also under the lower lash line to help it help like it look even darker and more smoky i'm also going to apply that to the inner tear duct of my eye and like lower and and like upper I don't know what you call it upper tear duct I don't know um and then I'm just going to use a sponge brush to blend it out so it's ultra smoky I'm then going to be taking it up to my upper lash line so I'm really not being neat with this one bit I'm literally lining as close as I can to the lash line but then dragging it upwards onto the lid because I'm then going to be using the same sponge brush to blend it all out again so it's nice and smoky and then I'm just going to take some more of that black eyeshadow to pack it over the top just to help blend it out and so again it's nice and black. So 
So I'm just applying some mascara to my upper and lower lashes and I'm also going to be applying some eyelashes. These are Ardell Wispies. These are so good. They're so easy to apply because they've got like a nice thin band and it just makes it so much easier to apply. I'm then just applying some bronzer to my cheeks. Not really contouring too much. Um, just pretty much just trying to warm up the face a little bit more so I'm just putting that on the cheeks forehead and a little bit under my chin and then I'm going in with a black eyeshadow and kind of kind of contouring with this black eyeshadow with um, a fluffy blending brush and then I'm going over the top with the brown just to help smoke it out and blend it out and then I'm going to go in to the temple area with the same black eyeshadow. I tried to do it with a blending brush but it just wasn't applying properly. So I'm then just going to pack it on with a flat blending brush just to carve out the shape. And then again go back in with that brown just to help blend it out. So I'm just taking that quite far up onto the forehead just so it gives it a bit more shape and then going back in with the black just so I get my desired depth and it is really like ultra black. I'm then just taking whatever's left on the brush and carving out my cheekbones a little bit more just so it makes them look a little bit more hollow and then going back in with a blending brush just to blend out the harsh lines. For the nose I'm using a gel eyeliner. Again this is waterproof so it's not going to smudge or anything. It's going to hold on all day. Um, so I'm really just trying to create a just the typical skull nose shape and then just filling it all the way in. It took me quite a long time to get it symmet symmetrical because um, it is quite difficult but just take your time with it and there's no rush. So now for like the sugar skull design, um, I've seen loads of pictures with gems on the face and it looks so cool but I wanted to keep this quite dark and evil kind of um, but in a glamorous way at the same time. Um, so I'm just creating like a teardrop in the middle of my eyebrows and then I'm going in with the same gel eyeliner and creating like three dots on the forehead do the first one which is going to be smaller and work your way up to the biggest size. So it's going to have three different sizes, middle one's going to be a little bit bigger and then the one at the top is going to be the largest. I'm going to be doing pretty much the same sort of thing on my cheekbones and like cheek area. So do the teardrop but going the opposite direction so like the droplet is closest to the dots if you know what I mean but these dots are going to be the same size. Still do three, but they're gonna be the same size. So then for the chin area, I'm just creating like a half circle and filling it in, still using the gel eyeliner. And then I'm just gonna be carrying on with the dot slash circle design um, just popping one straight in the center one either side of that and then one either side of those ones and then just shading in my cupid's bow with the brown eyeshadow 
just so it looks like there's a shadow casting across my like under my nose and then I'm just taking that under my bottom lip as well and then I'm just taking a flat shader brush and packing it on straight underneath the nose so it looks like gives it a bit more shape and then for lip I'm just applying a matte nude lipstick and then I'm going in with a kind of like a bright pink lipstick as well. This is matte also, just on the outside, of, out like outer corners of my lips and then blending them outwards, just so it gives them a bit more shape and dimension. So then for the mouth design, I'm just drawing a line from the corner of my mouth up towards the ear um, just so this makes the mouth look wider um, and then for the teeth I'm just carving out or drawing out the teeth designs just as like a typical skull design you probably all know how to do this by now but I'm just using again the gel eyeliner and then I'm going to be using the same smudger brush that we use for our eyes just to blend it out so they're not so perfect. I'm then just going back in with that black eyeshadow just to deepen it more and then bring it and blend it down into the teeth area. I'm then just highlighting in my inner tear ducts and then I'm going to be bringing that onto my brow bone and then in the middle of my forehead, kind of like trying to go around the design that we just made. Um, trying not to go over the top because we still want it to be nice and black but we still need a little bit of highlight even if we are skulls. So I'm also just taking that highlight onto the high points of my cheekbones and then blending that out nicely. I'm also going to pop a little bit on my cupid's bow just because we still want our lips to be nice and full. So this is the finished results. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did and please don't forget to subscribe. Mm -hmm.